Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Istanbul. I'm Jawad Tehami and these are the headlines. Pakistan says it has successfully internationalized the Kashmir issue despite Indian efforts to undermine the conflict. Speaking at a press conference, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Islamabad raised the dispute on every world forum. He said the UN Security Council has never discussed the Kashmir conflict three times in a year, but did so due to Pakistan's effective diplomacy. Israel's warplanes have attacked the Gaza Strip for the seventh consecutive night. Israeli Defense Ministry says it struck Hamas observation posts and underground infrastructure in retaliation to incendiary balloon attacks. No casualties have been reported from the raid so far. Meanwhile, Israeli forces have shot at a Palestinian youth in the occupied East Jerusalem's old city. In Afghanistan, at least 10 people have been injured after multiple rockets uh, targeted the diplomatic district in Kabul on the country's 101st Independence Day. The Interior Ministry says several rockets were fired from two vehicles in the city. India has recorded the world's highest number of daily deaths from COVID-19 as 876 more lost their lives, taking the toll to nearly 52,000. Brazil has reported 684 deaths and nearly 20,000 infections in the past 24 hours, while the US has recorded 440 deaths overnight, raising the toll to over 170,000 with 5.4 million infections. In Pakistan, 15 people have lost their lives to the virus overnight, taking the country by death toll to 6,190. Globally, the pandemic has infected over 21.8 million people and claimed more than 774,000 lives. Pakistan's Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa has discussed regional security with Saudi Vice Defense Minister Khalid bin Salman during an official visit to Saudi Arabia. In a statement, the military's media wing said the two leaders also discussed matters of mutual interest. Earlier, the Army Chief also met his Saudi counterpart, General Fiyad al rawaili to discuss military ties. And in football, Inter Milan beat Shakhtar Donetsk by five goals to nil at Makur Spilarena to reach the Europa League final. The Italian side will meet five-time Europa champions Sevilla in the final on Friday. And that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.News.